Now, I think Small Rig may have just created the best map box on the market for creators and filmmakers out there. But before we get into the nitty gritty of why I think it's the best one out there at the moment, I think we need to address why you actually need a map box in your setup. And not just because it makes you look apparently more professional, there is definitely more to using a map box for your filmmaking and video production than that. So matte boxes are great at controlling the light that is directly hitting the lens. So you may have done this when you're filming where you catch a nice light flare and everything looks great and cool, but when the light hits your lens at certain angles, it can really wash out the contrast in your image, making it look super flat and yeah, pretty awful. So the matte box really helps keep your video footage clean and retain that nice looking contrast by blocking this light spill by utilizing the flags on top of the matte box. Now you might be saying, I really like flares and the washed out looks, but clients are not interested in your washed out footage and flares bouncing everywhere. They want nice looking shots showing their products in the best looking way possible. It's super important if you are working with paying clients who want good looking shots. And when you're grading this footage, it will retain that great look and it's a lot easier to work with. Next. If you are someone who uses filters a lot and different types, then you don't need to screw on and off filters with a matte box. You can simply slide them out and change the filters by putting them in these trays, and you can even stack them up for interesting looks. Now, obviously the question is going to be, why do I need the big rectangular system when I just screw on the normal VND? filters. With standard screw on ones, you get a heavy vignette. You know when you get the X kind of look in the corner of, of the image? Well, with a matte box, you don't get this because the filter is actually covering the whole lens. So you really do away with having that issue. And also you don't need to buy different size filters. You can just buy one filter, clip it into the matte box, and away you go, you can use it on all your lenses. Now I will pop the details and all the links to this matte box system in the description below. So you can head over and check it out. Let me know if you are using this small rig matte box system as I'd love to know how you're getting on with it. Are you enjoying it? What do you think about it compared to other systems? And also hit like and subscribe as that really helps this channel with the algorithm on YouTube. So what makes this small rig matte box system super awesome is it's really easy to use and set up. You just use the adapter rings, which you screw onto the front of the lens, then pop on the main filter box and screw down the clamps and hey presto, you have a nice little setup. It's really nice also as it has a magnetic clip on the side, so it literally just snaps together in place. And there we have it, a nice matte box setup. Not only to mention that it is super, super lightweight. This literally weighs nothing. It's a great system to have if you are a run and gun filmmaker. Now, I just wanna talk about how bulletproof this kit actually is. All the frames are made of aluminium metal and they're really, really solid. Even the matte box itself is really solid. You've got a complete aluminium frame here. The, cap, the whole thing pulls apart, which is really, really nice. And it actually, you can just use it like that if you want to. And it clips on together really easy like this. It just clips together, you lock these down and away you go. The filter trays just slide in and out and clip in like this. And you can get these filter trays, which are 5.6 by four, hello. But it's really, really solid piece of kit. Yeah, just go and buy it. Why would you not want this filter kit? So I just wanna talk a little bit about the adapter rings as they are pretty cool on this system. Usually when you screw on the adapter rings, they create a gap between the lens and the actual matte box. Whereas these ones from Small Rig actually have a thread on the back, so they stay pretty flat to the lens, which is a really, really great design. And there is some more. Yes, there is more. They also have left a thread inside the adapter rings, so you can still screw on the filters on the adapter rings themselves, and your lens caps will also still work, which is awesome. Well, what makes this system so versatile and useful is that it comes with a VND unit, which means a variable neutral density filter. So if your camera doesn't have a built-in ND system like some bigger cinema cameras, with this unit, you can simply adjust the amount of light coming into your lens and help you maintain 
that 180 degree rule which you are trying to maintain with our video footage. This ND has about eight stops of ND, so you can add more by stacking more filters in front with the additional filter trays. And also it has hard stops on this ND system, which is something missing from a lot of others out there. So you know when you hit the end of the filter instead of just going around in circles, literally. But what's also nice here is it can be linked to a wireless motor system so you can actually control this remotely if that is something that you want to do. Now the system comes with a 4x5.65 filter tray also and there are 4x4 trays available so you can use any standard creative filters on the market. Now this is a big issue for me when I purchased the Polar Pro system a while back. You basically found that you're just locked into their system which don't get me wrong is a really good system but if you wanted to use any other brands of filter in particular for filming such as like glimmer glass or satin filters you couldn't because their matte box is actually stuck to their filter sizes and it's really frustrating and I think for many people this put them off actually buying this system. With a small rig matte box you can purchase additional filter trays and this will allow you to stack filters for various looks to your footage and there is no limit to the amount of trays you can actually stack. Although I'm pretty sure you will get some interesting looks when you've got like a 10 foot stacked front of camera which yeah, I don't think is really going to work. So here Small Rig has really opened itself up to a lot of people here with its flexibility of the system. And this is one of the reasons I really decided to pick up this system. But also it is a complete bargain at £350 for the whole kit, which consists of the VND tray, the 4.56 filter tray, the main top flag and matte box itself. You get the adapter rings, the 15mm rod support, and a nice little carrying case. But there is an annoyance that I found with this kit, and it's that you need to take the VND part of the actual filter matte box apart to get it in the case. There is a section in the case for the 15mm rod holder, and you basically cannot put the matte box in with the VND unit on because it just doesn't fit. Why did you do that, small rig? I just don't know. I think I might actually try and adapt the box at some point so I can get it all in because the 15 mil rod holder isn't really that useful to me at the moment. Now, like I say, I'll pop details and links to this matte box system in the description below. Let me know if you are using this matte box system because I think a lot of people are gonna have switched to this matte box system. Let me know what you think about it and if you are preferring it over the other systems we talked about. And as always, please hit like and subscribe as that really helps with the algorithm on YouTube and it would be most, most kind of you. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you on a video soon.